This video brought to you by Michelle K, your number one hardworking Long Beach realtor, provides personal one-on-one -on -one service and has earned the trust and loyalty of hundreds and hundreds of clients. We have our guy, head coach, Long Beach State women's soccer, Mauricio Ingracia. So how many years have you been in Long Beach State? I started in 04. So Four. that's 14 years, Jack. 14 years. This will be my 15th uh, season, 15th fall. So what's uh, the I feel toughest? like you just got there yesterday. Yeah, you know, no, not quite yesterday. <laughs> Here's a good question. What do we have to do to get an office in the clubhouse, the new clubhouse? You guys? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're you're welcome. You're in. Really time? Really yeah. time? You're 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 in my office. You're my guest all the time. All right. Oh, it's huge. Yeah. Well, we'll bring some like snacks for you. Like Perfect. we'll be good with we're it. Both really good looking. Like we like we're we're busy. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. The the players have their own entrance on the weak side, and we go on the strong side. Left side. Left side. Left side. Left side. Left side. What's the toughest part about coaching girls? Women. Uh, Sorry. Yeah, coaching women. I don't. I don't think it's tough. I think it's. I love it. I love. Um, I love my players. I love the uh, the camaraderie. I love watching teams develop. The the generations um, challenge coaches more, um, especially now with social media and a lot of a lot of the things that have uh, you know become prominent over the last couple seasons. We just put in the work to try to be relevant and and uh, reach the kids. We had a fitness test this week and we had 15 players get their personal best. Ooh. So, you know, our culture is good. We put in a lot of work in the off season and, and that's satisfying to see that, that we're inspiring um, or, or finding a way to have our players give us their best. When a team is fit, I think it, it reflects a lot of things, especially within your culture. According to Mauricio, I just have zero respect for football. Because <laughs> I don't work out? Because I don't work out, oh, so I don't, don't show out. any any respect to our culture. But I think if we both don't work out, I think we. Oh yeah, show that's the respect. respect. Yeah, well, have you ever tried that way? Just no one. Once you have like nobody's well, fit. Yeah, don't everyone out of shape people. on your yeah, team. Everyone out of shape. Well, you know, I guess we could all bond together and lose together too. Because then you really hate all those fit girls on the other team, and they really want to beat them. <laughs> Competitiveness over fitness. Will this team be better than the team in 2011? Yeah, no, that's a good that's a good question. Um, nice. I think the the potential to um, to be successful is for sure there. A, a lot of things aligned for the 2011 team. The way that they played down the stretch, I think they won like the last eight straight games, and a lot of them by 1-0. I mean, last year we had a, a really good team, and and we had two of our best kids with ACLs. Uh, we get one of those kids back this year. This is the best time of year to be confident and to be optimistic. Um, do we have the pieces? Yes. And you guys I mean, have probably one of the best attendances of any of the huge, sports. What's huge. the recipe to do that? Right after the uh, Elite Eight uh, year, I, I, was, I was with uh, some, some donors and we asked for lights. We, we said, you know, every, every team in our conference has either a stadium or lights and the only one that, that didn't was, was us. We actually had a pl we were plugged, plugged in the, a scoreboard that would roll out there. Really? The I remember field. that thing. Yeah. I'd have to walk out. What are you guys doing front. with that now? It's still there. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's still there. Can we they, borrow it or? You could probably borrow it. They actually asked me if I wanted to use it for practice. Ooh, okay. Oh, we're playing some, I actually, some nighttime yeah, yeah. beer pong tomorrow. If we, I, yeah. I actually might bring it out just just right. to, to stay, uh, to remember our roots. So, um, wait, that just happened. You just got the lights in the, after in that 12. 2011 season? In 12. Yeah. Wow, I did not know that. Yeah, in That's 12. a shame. A couple hundred years behind Edison on that. <laughs> like the Cubs. They just got lights in like sure. four. And then they won the World Series. Yeah, see? Huh? Here we go. It's a national championship coming up. I mean, the reason I asked for them is I knew that a stadium's kind of a pipe dream, uh, especially during those years, lean years of economy and whatnot. But I knew the uh, lights would change our our entire program. If you build it, he will come. I looked at it the other day. We've broken the attendance record. We've doubled uh, attendance records. We've broken them, I think, six for the last seven years or something like that. What do you do for a uh, post-game celebration after a win? What's your routine? Uh, win or lose, we are at uh, Poor Richards with the staff. Wow, that's awesome. I was hoping you were going to go there. Yeah. Well, we saw him there one time. Yeah, right? that was great. Yeah. Well, yeah, that was great. Well, we had a big win. I think that I forget after, who we played. Yeah. That was after the Long Beach soccer game. Yeah, I don't forget who we played. Uh, uh, it was last year. Cornell, Dartmouth. Something like that. Could so have been. yeah, some Ivy League. Yeah, so they had been. no chance. Know it all, but can't show it all, you know? Give us a few games that we should be looking forward to next year. So we open up against SMU at home uh, on the, the 19th at, at 12 noon, and that's a that's a big game. They're coming out just to play us, and, and we're actually returning to them next season. Wow, so, so 3 p.m. or at, at old Poor Richards. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one. What's your uh, relationship with Cal State Fullerton like? 
I actually played at Fullerton. I know that. Um, I or played. Do you feel like kind of a Benedict Arnold a little bit, or which? No. How's that feel? No, because we don't have men's soccer. Yeah, if we had men's soccer, I would have been here. I would have been playing here. What's your number one coaching message? Be better we, th today than we were yesterday. And tomorrow, our goal is to be better than we were today. Simple. So when you die, you should be your best. Should. All right, we'd like to finish all of our interviews with a set of rapid fire questions. We'll call these uh, PKs. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Um, yeah. My gloves. Yeah, you got your gloves. Are you uh, are you a good PK taker? If, would you be in the Would you be in the lineup for PKs? Or I'm, no? I'm I'm good. Yeah. Still waiting for the kick to happen. He's probably wondering when. Oh! Sweet butter crumpet! My the ball drills Sterling right in the face. Oh, this might be a stupid question. Messi or Ronaldo? Messi. Yeah. It's not. Is it close? Not even close. I agree. And Messi's not even close to Maradona. Really? Yeah. Okay. What are your thoughts on Alex Morgan? I love Alex Morgan. Same. Great player. Grew up close to me. Um, I actually coached her for a little bit in, a, in an Olympic development squad. Did you try to recruit her? Oh yeah, she was in our office over here. Really? Oh yeah, I had her. I had her. She came watching. How game. come she didn't want to? Her and her dad, and uh, they were in an office. And the office was it was it was really it was pretty warm. It was if she would come to the new clubhouse. Yeah. You know, we'd have a good chance. Shame. We'd have Especially a good chance. Especially if Paul and I were there. Ooh, true. Wow. <laughs> what a we, shame. We could close the deal on that right now. <laughs> yeah.